Hugh Grant talking to me earlier. Now, a major new development on the hacking report. Channel 4 News can tonight reveal that allegations have been aired that a Metropolitan Police detective was put under surveillance by the News of the World journalists and his personal details were targeted. The surveillance operation came during a crucial murder investigation which implicated private investigators who had alleged links to News International. This programme understands Rebecca Brooks, then editor of the News of the World, was informed of the allegations by Scotland Yard at the time. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis, has this exclusive report. It was at a time when Rebecca Brooks, now one of the most powerful figures in the media industry, ran the News of the World. And it was just three months after the alleged hacking into Millie Dowler's phone. This story involves a claim that Brooks was confronted by the police over allegations of her journalists targeting a murder detective. An astonishing story which at one point we've been told had the police secretly watching the news of the world, watching the police. And it's told for the first time tonight. It was nine o'clock on the 25th of June 2002. BBC Crime Watch was about to announce yet another investigation into a notorious unsolved murder. We acknowledge there were some difficulties in the early stages of this investigation, but I'm here tonight to reinvestigate it with the advantage of 15 years of knowledge. The case involved the murder of Daniel Morgan, a private investigator who was found in the car park of a South London pub 24 years ago with an axe buried in his head. The case collapsed again recently for the fifth time, undermined hugely by police corruption in the early years. But it's what happened after this broadcast the to the senior detective in charge, so Dave Cook, which has never been told before. One of the Dave told me about it. He told me about it then, uh, but I didn't realise uh, who the newspaper was at that point. Alistair Morgan is the brother of Daniel Morgan, the murdered private investigator. He spoke to Detective Dave Cook often during the investigation. I learned about the surveillance and then I learned uh, that it was the news of the world that was um, carrying out the surveillance. Within days of the Crime Watch broadcast, it's understood that Dave Cook had been told by colleagues he was being targeted by the news of the world. Alistair Morgan describes what is supposed to have happened next. Dave told me that he was out walking his dog. He was taking his dog out for a walk one evening and he noticed a van parked in a odd, an odd location, I think he said behind some trees near his house. Um, the following morning, obviously it aroused his attention, the following morning he noticed that he was being followed, that his, he was driving his children to school and that he was being followed. It's claimed that the police discovered one of the vans was leased to the News of the World. And so concerned were the police about this that a witness protection unit was mobilised as well as a police counter-surveillance team. When finally confronted, the News of the World apparently said they were interested in whether Dave Cook was having an affair with a Crime Watch presenter, Jackie Hames. But they were in fact married at the time. And what is so disturbing about this allegation is the timing of the targeting of Dave Cook. Because in the murder investigation he was leading, suspects in the case were private investigators who, it's alleged, had close links to the news of the world. Channel 4 News also understands that Rebecca Brooks, now CEO of News International, knows all about this. Because it's claimed there was a meeting at Scotland Yard in December 2002 in which the police challenged her over this. We still do not know what the outcome of that meeting was, but both the News of the World and the Metropolitan Police appear never to have spoken about it publicly. Andy Davis, and he uh, joins us now. Um, have we heard anything from News International? Uh, News International have just released a statement, John, and they said that they had not been previously aware of these claims, but will investigate any allegations that are put to them. Regarding the alleged meeting between Rebecca Brooks and Scotland Yard about this in 2002, they say they're not in a position to confirm or deny whether the meeting took place or what may have been said if indeed a meeting did take place. Scotland Yard have made no comment. But if these allegations are proven, then it is, frankly, a staggering, another staggering development in this whole uh, phone hacking scandal. Here was 
a senior detective involved in a hugely sensitive murder investigation effectively being targeted, it's alleged, by News of the World journalists. So there are questions for Rebecca Brooks. Did she know about this? Was she at that meeting? And did she do anything about it? And also hugely serious questions for the Metropolitan Police. If that meeting took place and that whole episode was reported to them, was it ever investigated or was it just conveniently brushed under the carpet? Well, in a cascade of extraordinary revelations, this is massive and a, a huge allegation to make. How has it come out? Well, I understand that Dave Cook and Jackie Hames were informed about two months ago that their names and personal details, including payroll numbers, including Jackie Hames' mobile phone, including addresses, were found in three pages of Glenn Mulcair's notes. That was uh, in about April. Um, this was the private investigator who was prosecuted over That's previous That's right, who was hired the by news the, the News of the World. Now, Jackie Haynes tonight has confirmed that to me, that she has been approached by the police and told about this, and she said that it has been a hugely upsetting experience for her. She's lived with it for nine years and is now working out how to discuss this in public, what to do next. But both of them, as I understand, are now considering a legal action, in early stages of considering a civil action against the News of the World. But... Just remember now that these uh, details have come out in two months ago. How is it possible that the Metropolitan Police, who had Glenn Mulcair's notes for five years, are only now telling this murder detective that his notes have been found? It, it, it's extraordinary. It is one of many extraordinary developments tonight. And in the last hour, Glenn Mulcair, the private investigator at the centre of the News of the World hacking allegations, has said he wants to apologise for any hurt he has caused, saying he'd worked under relentless pressure at the paper where there was a constant demand for results. More later in the programme when I'll be talking with News International at just after half past seven. And you can go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news, to read much more detail and analysis of this unfolding phone hacking development.